easy on them. I think they're still hard to find, I'm not sure. Do you guys want to see a big, huge, one-pound kitten? It's a otter. Oh. Hi, otter. He's watching himself. That's what he's looking at. Hi. I know. Everybody, look at how, look. Yes. Oh, he's, he's quite the demanding one now. He's not a all day and probably for seven days. Him is very hungry. <laughs> Hi, Otter. Yeah, look at how he's like, he's definitely a far cry from the lethargic baby that just wasn't really doing much, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. He's Huge guys, huge. It's like yeah, I'm a big feisty otter. Oh yes, him so hungry. <laughs> Odd, but he still loves this. He loves. Oh. Okay, if you guys listen closely. Can you hear him purr? You heard it? <laughs> he developed his own purr now. And he plays now. Hi, hi, Otter. What you doing? It's an awful job, but someone's got to do it. Hunch, hum, or hunt, hunt. Uh. Hi, guys. I feel like if I even pet him, like my whole hand covers him. But I figure you guys haven't seen him for a while, so. Auntie Sonia's on. <laughs> He's become quite obsessed with. Are you liking me? He's become quite obsessed with shoes now. He likes climbing on top of shoes. <gasps> they think you're perfect. Definitely, boy. I would say like 90% positive. He's boy, but you know they've surprised me in the past. But I, I definitely think he might be a boy. Yeah. Yeah, I put him on the scale. And I mean, I don't think, I think I missed his weigh-in yesterday. But at last weigh-in, he was like 13.4. And I missed his weigh-in yesterday. And then I weigh him this morning. And he was, he was very teetering between like 15.9 and 16 ounces. So we rounded up and said 16. If he would stay still enough, he was 16. Isn't he a doll? Oh, little otter. Oh, little otter. Hi. Your Auntie Sonia's on. <laughs> hey. Says, tell Auntie Sonia I wouldn't be alive if for you. Because she spent a lot of time with you, huh? She spent a lot of time with you, didn't she? 
he's still just like a little yeah He very much loves face rubbies. <laughs> I actually almost wonder, so Sonia, when she took care of them, you know, they were just very, very, very little. Um, and she would take a tiny teeth toothbrush and just brush his face and brush him kind of like a mama grooming him. And I wonder if that's where he got the loving. Did you see Pond? Yes. Okay. I already gave her a soups. Okay. Yep, and then um, Eagle Watcher took over the next shift actually after Sonia and did a lot. And then actually since then, Debbie's been taking care of them. So Debbie's Sonia had the every two hour part. Beth had she was it, doing like she, two also, wasn't she? She had like two, and then during Beth, we transitioned down to like three, four hours. Um, Debbie has the easier part, but not so easier part, because she definitely did the every four hour bit for a while. And then um, now they're getting a little more spaced out to where it's more like, you know, it can be several hours, and now they just eat on their own, so you don't have to hand feed them. But she's also getting the more difficult one where they're more active, so they're climbing all over everything. <laughs> Yeah, you are worth it. Hmm? You. you are worth oh, it. Oh, well. Like, I can't take oh, it. Look how cute you are. Yeah. Hi, David. Good idea, Jenny. He, he was a very, very close call of on, on making it or not. He was very close. At one point, we thought for sure, I mean, we had plans on what would happen if one of the caregivers during the middle of the night, Sonia, Beth, uh, Debbie, we had plans on what would they do if he had passed because we were so sure he was not looking good for a while. So the fact that he is, there were times where, I mean, they really had to like, I don't know, force isn't the good word, but really, well, really, really push. Be persistent in getting his teeth open. Yeah, and, and just even to get, like, a couple MLs in, you know, just enough to sustain him, so. Hi. Hi, Joel. Are we in a big space? <laughs> That's true, Jenny, we do. Yeah, if you go on our um, rescue site, we do have something. Oh, hi, Joel. Oh, are we going to do this? Are we going to do and this is where kittens attack. And this is where kittens attack. <laughs> he did scare us. Yeah, he was. Mm. Ow! Yes, you can't. <laughs> okay, alright. He's like, I've been away from my food for a solid ten minutes. I tell you what, they really do. All they do is eat and poop and eat and poop and eat and poop and eat and poop. But you eat a lot. <laughs> There's a soup in Egypt pen for him. Okay. Unless that's not right. No, that's fine. Okay. Oh my God. Be still my part, my heart. Look at them. Hi, baby. What? What? I don't want your foot in my face. I saw what you were doing with that. He was eating earlier, and it's just not good to eat unless we put our full foot right, <laughs> right in the food. Oh, I don't want these people. Ow, oh, it's bite me. Don't bite. Um, 
all these people love you. Yeah. They're so proud of you for getting so big. They're so proud of you for getting so big. Your itchies. <laughs> Gosh, you can't hardly itch his ear. It's so little. You have to be like. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a big adventure day, didn't we? We came into a big room. I know. They always are irresistible. Oh, what's that? Is that a willow? Willow? What is this? What is this willow? <laughs> I better go put him back. Thanks, guys. Yes, this is very 